Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Well, On One Photo Raw 2021 released today. It's available now. If you pre-ordered it, you should be able to download the software, get your hands on it, and start working with it. In this video, I'm going to cover five features I think are worth your time to look at in Photo Raw 2021. If you're thinking about upgrading, hadn't decided yet, or maybe you're looking at On One for the first time, I hope this video helps you out. Also, if I could ask a favor, you're thinking about making a purchase, check the link in the show notes and use that when you make your purchase. No extra cost to you, and that will help support videos like this and tutorials that I do on on one photo raw. So with that, we're going to get into these five features. Now, I can't show these features in a single video. There's just too many things there. So I'm going to cover them here. In the show notes, there is a link to a more detailed video on each one of the features I'm talking about here. So, you know, sit back, grab a cup of coffee, and let's get started with these five features. Feature number one, Smart Organize. This is in the Browse module. Smart Organize works like this. You point it at a set of photos and you give it some criteria to go group those photos. And the criteria could be anything from similar locations to time of day the photo was taken to the contents of the photo, similar appearance. And that's the part that I find very powerful. There's some AI going on where they're looking at the elements in the photo and uh, it was pretty impressive. Some of the differences it noticed where I just made slight composition changes Smart Organize realized that, gave me different groupings of photos, and then I can use that to figure out which of the set do I want to keep or which of the set do I want to reject. So if you are capturing several photos of a similar subject and need some help getting your arms around organizing them, check out Smart Organize in the Browse module of Photo Raw 2021. Feature number two is Portrait AI. Now, On One put out Portrait AI as a standalone application um, a few weeks back. Well, that entire application is built in to Photo Raw. There's a Portrait AI module that's it's part of Edit, and it works the same way with the same power. So there's a, a lot of uh, artificial intelligence that is looking for the faces in your photos, identifying skin, eyes, lips, teeth, and there are sliders to control all of that. Smooth the skin out, whiten the teeth, raise the brightness of the eyes, crispen the irises, and all of these things can be bundled into presets, and you can batch through a set of portrait photos really, really rapidly. So Portrait AI is another feature in Photo Raw 2021 well worth looking at. If you've got pictures of people, you want to take a look at this module. Feature number three is the replace color filter in the effects module. This is a new filter in 2021 and it just makes replacing colors in your photo easier. And it's a fun one. It's, a, it's one you can get kind of creative and uh, you know, explore with. We had some ability to change colors with the previous editions of Photo Raw. We had hue sliders and with the channel mixer you can coax a color change. But replace color makes it easy. Pick a color in your photo. Pick a new color you want it to be, adjust the range so that the blend looks good, and you're done. So it's a much faster workflow for changing colors. And like I said, it lets your creativity get a little wild there. You can really have some fun with this filter. So check this one out in the effects module. Feature number four are the clone and heal tools. Now these have been completely revamped for Photo Raw 2021. The big change is being able to adjust the sample point after you've made your retouch stroke. You make a brush stroke, you're not quite happy with what came out, you don't have to undo it, you can just move the source or the destination pins. You get these red and green pins. Red's what's being removed, green's what you're sampling from, and it's much smoother to get your retouches done. And you can go onward to other tools. You can be working with filters and realize you need to come back and make an adjustment to a heel or a clone. You can do that, the pins are there, and it's totally non-destructive as it's been for a long time. And it's, we're not losing anything either. We still have the perfect eraser in Photo Raw 2021. But heel and clone, go check those out. They're in the retouch group in the edit module. Number five is color range masking with your local adjustments. And we've had color range masking buried inside the masking options for the local adjustments. With Photo Raw 2021, it's easier to access it 
and it just works more smoothly. It's right in the toolbar for your masking bugs. So if you're working with a gradient or you're working with the radial shapes, the edges or the center shapes, the center of the bug becomes your color selector. And so you can just move it around your photo, drop it on a spot, and adjust the range all right within the toolbar and have your local adjustment just target the colors that are sampled. So it's a much smoother workflow. So if you're needing to brighten or darken a certain color, maybe slightly adjust its temperature, whatever it might be, the color selection is just more front and center with the local adjustments. So those are five things I think are worth your time in Photo Raw 2021. Explore these features, learn about them, smart organize, portrait AI, replace color, heal and clone, and the color range masking. And I have videos that go into the details on each one of these features. Look in the show notes. There's a pointer to individual videos about each one of these features so you can get a better handle on how each one works. And then you're going to find more things that are interesting about Photo Raw 2021 as well. There's uh, HDR batching, there's pano stitching batching. You can take batches of these things and run them through while you go have a coffee or take a break and let the computer do a bunch of work for you. Uh, there is uh, custom brushing and masking, and the list goes on and on. And watch my channel. I'll have more videos coming out later this week about some of the other things that are in Photo Raw 2021. If you've got questions, go ahead and drop them below. And I hope you enjoy trying out and using the software. And again, if you enjoy the video, you're thinking about making a purchase, please check the link in my show notes. No extra charge to you, but it gives me a little support to keep coming back and doing more videos. Well, until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.